Kia ora koutou katoa, no mai hoki mai ki Inglewood, te wiki, tuatoru o te Bunnings NPC, i te kimu i tēnei rā, ko Taranaki me Wellington Hiro, ki kone he whakanui i te wiki o te reo Māori, ko Jeff McTain, staku ingoa, he te taha o Auroto, i kai koriro kautinana. Yeah, kia ora Jeff, me PC, and kia ora tātou katoa, ngā mihi ki a koutou i tēnei ahi ahi mō te kemu o Whutupora. Now, I know we've been hanging out, the players have been hanging out, definitely the fans have been hanging out, and how good to have the NPC back, Jeff, I'm fired up. Absolutely pumped for this. Great to have the Bunnings NPC back. And we'll take a quick look at the standings as they are at the moment. Taranaki topping the table. Two wins for Taranaki ahead of Manawatu, North Harbour and Otago. Northland playing later on this afternoon against Tasman, rounding out the championship there. Beautiful conditions in Taranaki for this one. That is the Premiership standings. Wakato at the top of the table at the moment ahead of Canterbury, Tasman and Wellington in fourth on the Premiership table. Absolutely stunning day in Taranaki. And let's go sideline now to our man, Ben Castle. Yeah, kia ora, Jeff. Kia ora, KT. No mai, haere mai, hoki, mai or no. It is absolutely great to be back. Bunnings, NPC. Te huarere in the Taranaki is near perfection. Rain and wind has moved on and conditions very good. The Papatakaro is in good condition here at Inglewood. A nice little crowd here too under some COVID restrictions. Jeff Wellington, they have won the toss in Taranaki. They will kick off. Kapai BC. This is the Taranaki lineup. O'Neill, Slater, and Beans in the front row. Lord and Huiata locked the scrum today. Crosswell, all of that experience at six. Peter Gus saw Kula. Look for him to get the ball in his hands this afternoon. Florence, one of the best fetches at the breakdown so far this season. Crowley and Potros run the cutter. Tay Warden is uh, the captain in the 12 jersey with Daniel Waite outside him. Look for Kenny Naholog to bring his devastating game in the 11 jumper. Stephen Peter Feta at 15. Rata Matavuki Nikkins at 14. Tika Solomone, all of that danger in 20. Three and a couple of debuts today. Scott Jury and Mills Sanirevi in the 20 jumper. And Tefanga Nui Atara Wellington in the front row sees Numia Fidel and Thompson in his first half, uh, first start. For the engine room, Delaney will partner the captain James Blackwell. The back row sees Plumtree Whitman will be backing up the very explosive Duplessy Kitafi. The playmakers see Judd in tandem with Aidan Morgan in his first game. And then it's Lawson who combines with the very experienced Ben Assel into 12-13 jersey and it's a very dangerous back three with Patafilo, Wes Hussein and Ruben Love. Now in the reserves we see Koeka Peterson, Sakaria Cowan to Umanga going to make his debut off the bench. Smith Collins and the internationals and Peter Umanga Jensen and Tomasi Alosio. Come by KT. Yeah, great to see a crowd in Inglewood. And here come Wellington. Well, first up, they hammered Northland 54 points to seven. And Wakato came back in the capital. Really upset them in that second half in their last game. They lost that one 43-37. They haven't lost away to Taranaki since 2009. And this man will be key today. Not captain this afternoon, Duplessy Karifi. James Blackwell has the armband. But uh, Duplessy Karifi, he's so good. Not just in the loose, around the park. A great support player. Like every good loose forward. And look for him today. To add plenty on and off the ball, Duplessis Karifi. Coach by Leo Crowley, of course. They last played Taranaki in 2018 on that occasion. 34 points to 10 for the Lions. And here come Taranaki. They've been good so far this season, but it really starts again now. A long break for all of the teams, and even though they're top of the championship, they have to bring their A game today to beat a very good Wellington side. Our last win over the Lions back in 2016. And this man, well, last game out against Northland, he was devastating. Kenny Naolo scored a couple of tries. He's electric. And you look at that back three of Taranaki, Stephen Perofeta as well. Jacob Atamatavuki Nikins, we know how good he is at 14. Uh, this kid out of Hastings, boy, so good, Kenny Naholo. You know, any side coach by Neil Barnes will be ready to play this afternoon. Referee this afternoon, James Dolman, Will Johnson, Mitch Young, the ARs. And Richard Kelly is our TMO. A 
Uh, Jason Potros with the ball for Tananaki. Look out for Aidan Morgan at 10 today for Wellington. Bright prospect in the number 10 jersey. Signed with, of course, the Canes to 2024. He too will be key today, pulling the strings for Wellington. Hey, Potros gets us underway. Great to be back in the Bunnings NPC. And down inside the Wellington 22. Kanina Hulu trying to get in there on defence. And it's there now for Delaney. Caleb Delaney up to the 22. Yeah, Richard Judd back and Wellington do make the clearance. Up to halfway. Yeah, good start. Good exit there from that Wellington team. Very, very structured. Two hit ups and then create a little bit of room for their exit. So well done, but Taranaki throw it. Bradley Slater, first line out of the game. A clean one, too. Uh, Crowley finds Naholo at first receiver. Getting involved early. Kenny Naholo. Now Crowley. And Taranaki look to build into their work. Crowley again. Wellington up smartly on defence. Now they go down the short side again. Potros. Wait up, Peter Fetter. Trying to hold the player up was Hoyson. Now yeah, Potros. Yeah, away to Florence. Puts his head down. They try and affect the turnover. The tackle have to release. Duplessis Kadifi in there now. Crowley. Down the right. Oh, Peter Fetter. Tried to float the pass to Mitch Croswell. I couldn't quite find him. Yeah, they created the numbers there. The Taranaki done everything, right, everything right, just a double pump there, unfortunately, for okay, Stephen Petofeta. Just froze the play a little bit. And easy position given away, but great defense here from Wellington. Short line out. Tyrone Thompson for the Lions. There it goes, and up they send Caleb Delaney. Trying to move it forward, Thompson locked in at the back. Gets a pat on the back from Richard Judd, and he puts a kick over the back of the mall and into the sun. Does well there. And Peter Fetta, they fire in field, and Kenny Naholo, a little bit of space. He dances around the defence. A good game line as uh, James Blackwell went a little high there, but no. James Dolman awards the penalty, holding on. Well, BC, I'd say Wellington would be pretty happy with their defence so far. Holding. Well, you mentioned their defence earlier on when that ball floated off the top there. They just were patient, weren't they, on that occasion there, chasing that kick well. You watch Kenny Naholi ducks back in. It's a good carry from the left winger, but watch Caleb Delaney here. He's the man. He's taking the ground there, number five, straight over the top. He's the one with the turnover right in front of Dolman. Solid work in this here. Oh, no real breeze to talk off here. If, if anything, it's into Aidan Morgan's face. It's a good kick for this young man. Such a talent. Aidan Morgan, former King's College captain. And no wonder the Hurricanes have big raps on him. A good 41, 42 metres out here for Aidan Morgan. First points of the game. Morgan. Plenty of distance. And he's on target too, Aidan Morgan. So early on at Inglewood... That is the visitors, Wellington, who lead three points to nil. Yeah, good confidence start from Morgan as well. You can see that as soon as he hit that, he had a couple of jumps and then picked up the team, went straight back. So he had a good exit earlier on. Now that good kick, that'll settle the young man right down. Potros again. And Morgan fields the ball this time inside his 22. Killian Whitman winds up. Goes to ground. Now Judd back to Morgan. And he makes a tidy clearance too. Yeah, rinse and replace. just wanting it to go a little bit longer. It's pretty much hit the same spot that he cleared it from the first exit of the game. This time Taranaki will just want to keep a bit more accuracy in their back play if they get it there. 
It's time to go to the front off the slated pass and Crowley fires it out. Potros looking to go through midfield again. It's been the preferred route so far for Taranaki. Now Slater. It's a good phase early on in the game for Taranaki. Potros gets the ball off. Petafetta. He'll go all the way. Stephen Petafetta. Well, Potros has been threatening. He's been given the ball to his outside. That time there was a missed tackle. He takes on the line and just slices through. Look at him here. They come up directly. They don't, don't keep their inside shoulder. There is a nice offload and pedal fetter from here. Too easy. It was pretty simple, really, wasn't it? Two really good carries over the advantage line. That's the key. And then the break and that lovely offload from Potros. And Pera Feta, well, he's too fast. And he gets any space at fullback. But nice, good front ball at the line out again. It's been Mitchell Croswell off the front. It's a hard place to attack from. Taranaki. Winning that ball at the line out, two good carries, pretty simple but effective. Well, we talk about the number 10 for Wellington, Aidan Morgan, but Jason Potros has been instrumental early on in the season for Taranaki, distributing well, finding space. Such a solid player at 10, but this man as well, so handy at 15. Pedro Feta to convert his own try. Looks good. No, it's away. At the distance. Oh, good to see a crowd in. Oh, he's done a his number one band here. Stay behind. Maybe he wanted the try from 35 metres out. As it stands, Taranaki, first try of the game. They lead 5-3. And uh, Morgan gets us underway once more. Beautiful bluebird day in Taranaki. They try it. Maul it forward. And there it is for the captain, Tairangi Warden. To ground he goes. And Crowley, well, they set up one off through Ruben O'Neill. Now it's back to Potros. And he puts it straight up in the air. And coming forward to meet it, Aiden Morgan, beautifully done. Aiden Morgan, and they go hunting through uh, Bradley Slater, but still there for Wellington. And now Brandon Lawson in the number 12 jumper. Big man as Whitman carries forward. And he's met by some staunch defence in the form of Ruben O'Neill. Now Morgan trying to get it going through midfield, both of these teams. Now Judd Morgan floating it on was Arsenal. Now Poisson, so dangerous. Wellington, good phase for the visitors through Numia. Cut out ball now, Morgan. That's Asso to ground he goes. Trying to affect the turnover, Taranaki, but still there. Now it's feed out. Now Judd, Morgan, cut out ball. Oh, good hands, Wellington, Asso moving it on. Patafilo, oh, going straight through Hoyson. Absolutely brilliant. And Wellington, after the early try to Taranaki, respond. And you can take that all the way back to Taranaki, giving up possession through a kick in the midfield. It was taken beautifully by Aidan Morgan. And from there, Wellington just reset. They were very patient if it wasn't. There's a lot of back balls involved. But look at that missed pass. Just brings it across a nice back ball from Plumtree, wrapping around and hoos it. But he's just too good from these areas. It just shows you one small mistake or one lapse. One bit of brilliance, it breaks this defensive line, and these two teams have got attacking ability across the park. That occasion was as Vince Asso, it came from a bit of depth, that lovely ball from Tane Plumtree. And a good decision, nice little dummy from Wes Wilson. And too much gas on the outside. So two cracking drives. Yeah, really well taken ball from uh, Aidan Morgan though, wasn't it? Oh, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful under duress here, and it's gonna reset and go from here. It's a little conversion, but been heavily involved. That'll set all the young men down, that's for sure.
side and Morgan on the angle to convert the try. And that one is away to the right. So goes unconverted, but it is Wellington. Coming up to 10 minutes gone in the game, who lead Taranaki eight points to five. Potros once more. Entertaining game, only 10 gone. Bodes well for the afternoon. Whitman. Again, another character ground in the 22. Back to Aidan Morgan. And again, that's a good clearance. Up towards halfway, Aidan Morgan. That's an outstanding clearance. Now he's done in a finder's group. You can hear it straight off the boot. Nice and clean. Got a lot more metres in it too. Now Taranaki, the good in this area. Speed, need to be a little bit more patient with ball in hand. The way they're defending as well at line-out time. They're trying to cut that back off. You can see Plumtree, he's at the back there. That's good. I don't need Very to good defensive line-out man. Caleb Delaney in the middle. So they're trying to give Taranaki that option. It's harder to attack off the front of that line-out. So they'll try and force him to throw up there. Mitchell Coswell, he's been the target the last two. He's standing second in that line-out for Taranaki. Such an experienced player. Key man, great man to have in your forward pack, Mitch Croswell. And Slater goes in, they go again to the front. Croswell takes it. Now, Potros, they fire it on through. Pay Warden out to the way, a little bit of space. Kick through, and a fair catch claimed by Morgan. Get behind, guys. Yeah, good covering there, but again, Tadamaki just... Happy to give possession away at the moment through their kick. I know they'll get the throw out to this line out, but it just feels at the moment they're trying to score from the first phase. Don't need it, but coming up. Yeah, this would be a crack at Northland Taxman. I'll make it real simple. If anyone does it I'm penalising them. And Fungard, eh? To the back of Gase, and up goes Finhoyata. Now Potros, big Peter Garcia cooler taking good tackle by Kerefi. Now, Pei Walden steps off the left, back into traffic. Now, clean is good for Taranaki. Now, Daniel Waite hit hard by the defence. They've got an offside advantage here, Taranaki. That one against Aso. And Peter Gusso, Kula, tries to wrestle with the Wellington defence. Getting the haul off, spins the ball over to Mitch Croswell. Can't take it, but... James Dolman will come back for the offside penalty. Oh, geez, it was on too. There for now, Holo. Passes went a little bit too high. That was in front of you, BC, but geez, that stacked the numbers there. Well, this is Taranaki's best option, really. Got to nail this kick, which they have done. And now they're into the right areas. We'll get a good look at it as they come out to the left here. It's all on, just flying out. Patafilo. Keep coming. Oh, the options here, this is the key. Watch Tom Florence, number seven, where he lines up. If he stacks the halfback, it will be giving away that drive. That's where he is. Well, this time, Taranaki, little trick at the front of the line out. Slater. Oh, just out. Brilliant play from set piece. Taranaki, can they convert? Crowley. Has his hands on it. They're close. They're over. And James Dolman says held up. Goal line. But gee, what a smart little nifty play. The front of the line out for Taranaki. Yeah, it was Mitch Croswell too coming around the front to give that pass back to Slater because it's held up over the line. It's going to be a restart from the end goal. Here it is here. Was it five? We're not going to see it on there. Must have been just. Down to Naholo, uh, Potros, uh, so Kula passes on. Piero Feta uh, step his way through. Tackle made, Blackwell. Uh, Potros cut out ball. Stay in, stay in, stay in. Stay in. Finding himself out there is back. Josh Lord for Taranaki. Uh, Potros. Oh, straight smack. Michael Bent into Kerefi. Uh, Piero Feta, first receiver. Tay Warden. Oh, good tackle. Front on. Vince Assel. And Wellington Plus have the there, turnover. Plus four. Well, it was building nicely for Taranaki. That's some good oh, defence. KT push. highlighted it early in the game from Wellington. Yeah, rushing on the outside. That's the secret here. 
They know it's going to be a back ball. So I think it was Vince Ussel who jams right in, isolates him, and kid of feet straight over there. Pill, they had three there, in fact, Wellington. Too many numbers compared to the one that Tay Walden. Well, Pepe Sana Patafilo as well. He helped there. Vince Ussel, the one with the tackle. But in that eyesight of Te Orangi Walden, he could see Patafilo coming up as well. So that defensive line from Wellington is shutting down the space, cutting off the options for Taranaki, and then that ball cutting back inside for someone like Duplessis could have been over the ball. Well, you're back him nine out of ten times to win that. Wellington a touch heavier. That pack weight. They're running well, Wellington about 92% scrum success so far. Good young front row working hard together with two Chiefs hookers. Tyrone Thompson signed up with the Chiefs against Bradley Sater. Another Chief hooker. I'm sure they'll be having a good battle in there too. The first scrum of the game. And it's Richard Judd who feeds. Bit of heat coming from Taranaki. What a bad effort there from the home side. And now Vince Ussel, a little bit of space. Now shifting it on, Ruben Love back in field. Now Hoyson, a try scorer. Now waiting is Whitman off the Judd pass. Morgan out to Ussel again. Kick made and Kenny Naolo sizes it up. He puts a kick of his own in. And down as far as Aiden Morgan. He fires in field. And a kick is made down inside Taranaki's 22 for Pedro Feta. And we've got a force back here at Inglewood. There's uh, Morgan. There's plenty of space in front of him. Does he kick or does he run? He spies some space in behind and makes a good touch, but... Kotros says, oh, we'll play on. And that's a heck of a kick. Downfield. It's a net game for Taranaki. It'll be a line-up to Wellington. Yeah, it's been played in the 22. Both teams now have settled down into their work. And it becomes that chess match. It's in the middle part of this first half. Wellington again, clean line-out. Now Judd, Wade and Morgan. Now Kerefi finds himself in midfield, trying to make the tackle. Yeah, Gus saw a caller, slowed him down. On the 10 for Wellington. And there on defence is Bradley Slater and Tay Walden. Such a staunch defender, the captain for Taranaki. And Kerefi in there, got the advantage, Wellington. You're right, this man here needs to roll first. Oh, it's Ruben O'Neill, the one for not rolling away. It was outstanding work from Tom Florence. Jersey number seven, pilfering over that ball. One of the busiest players this year at the breakdown, Tom Florence. Well, Wellington through the boot of Aidan Morgan. Get a bit of territory. Now looking forward to this tomorrow. This will be an absolute beauty. In Napier, the Ranfurly Shield, the Battle of the Bay, KT. Oh, yeah. Tomato Amaui versus Waiariki. Always nasty. Let alone having a Ranfurly Shield on top of it. Oh, yes. And it goes Wellington. Can't quite find Delaney. And the ball is lost now. So Akula cleans up down the short side. Wellington does some staunch defence. Crowley hands on it. Away to Potros. Not much angle to work with for the 5'8, but down into the sun for Hoyson. Out of Morgan. A bit more height on this one from Aiden Morgan. Bit of a challenge. Runners coming through. Peter Fetter does brilliantly well to field the high ball. And on the halfway for Taranaki, they've got the penalty. This man here is all on the board, he needs to roll here. It's the same exact thing. Well, the back and forth continues. And Taranaki have a chance to plug Nine. the corner. Roll. I can't understand how difficult a ball like this is to take. It was a good one from Aidan Morgan. And Stidon Perfetta, under duress, took it. And then was off as well, stayed strong, and just bought enough time for his support players to get in. That was brilliant work from the number 15 for Taranaki. It's just so hard to away isn't he, he's just so elusive and strong in the just tackle too, he takes it low and then keeps his balance, his ability footwork and strength Ruben Love, he's actually entitled to get there, he's just rolling away 
Richard Judd just had caught in there. Well, last line out we had in the same situation. A nice little special play down the front. It's time to the back. Taranaki, a uh, clean take as well. Set them all. The numbers waiting out to the right of Logan Crowley. They've got the advantage, Taranaki. Now Potros spins it away to the left. Kenny Noholo and a bit of space. Noholo's going to score. Is he? Oh, fantastic no effort. No fantastic effort. No try the call. But just for a moment, Kenny yep. Noholo was almost in. Oh, there was two or three defenders there for Wellington as well, so it didn't matter. For Naholo, he didn't get it down, he put it down on the post, but he's just showing he doesn't need much to create something from nothing. Oh, that's a good option, I think. Taranaki, really good drive they had. That line out went over the 15. They were patient. And then this is when they switch back here. Here it goes through that tackle. You're on the line, Blake. Wow. On the line, on the line, Blake. Yes. Gee, what an athlete. Shades of Lester Fanga Nuku down in Christchurch. Slater, a oh, good take again, Lord. And they set them all here. Taranaki rumbling toward the line, looking for a second. It's there for Crowley. They shifted. Potros, he's close. Just a meter out. Jason Potros trying to inch their way over. Taranaki. Huyata. Hands up! Hands up! They're picking go again here. And they're over the line, they score! Well, they rolled their sleeves up, Taranaki, and just reward. Yeah, well, their line out's been superb. They haven't lost one as yet. Been very organised in that department, so you knew it was coming. It was good defence initially on their line from Wellington. Easy take. It was good work here by Brad Slater just to keep it and just when it started coming into this left hand side, you can see him just put on the brakes. They reset and they just keep going right side, fold around and in the end, there's a little bit of a hole here from Michael Ben. Good work. Oh, you're bang on, KT. That work there from Bradley Slater to keep that drive active and keep it moving in the right direction. Tom Florence was very good as well. Their body position was excellent in that drive over the advantage line. Then Michael Ben. But a nice welcome back into New Zealand Provincial Rugby after a good stint offshore. A number of caps for Les Leinster in Ireland. It was capped with Ireland as well. They're starting to flex their muscle, this forward pack here, the Taranaki Bulls. Peter Fetzer tries to swing it around, can't do it out to the right so the try to Michael Bent goes unconverted but it is Taranaki a two point lead 22 gone in Inglewood well, Wellington the best starting side in the competition this year averaging four tries in the opening 20 but it's Taranaki with the lead here into the sun take for the Matabuki Nekins with some pressure coming on him. Crowley. Oh, Kula wanted it, but he's there for Boyata. They got a penalty as well to boot Taranaki. In fact, that was Mitch Croswell on the deck. Yeah, this is where Wellington just needs to keep his discipline in these areas. You can't allow Taranaki who are starting to find their rhythm easy out. You see a lot of hands on hits by the four pack. They've had to work hard. Remember teams have had a lot of time off. So fatigue will be a factor. On the line guys. On the line. Yeah, let's make it clearer. Go ahead. Go ahead. throws and Croswell the target again working well. The number six. Potros dabs a little kick over the top. And Ruben Love is there to meet it. He sends it downfield. Oh, it can't quite take it. Stephen Petalfetta. 
A oh, mistake in the back for Taranaki. Yeah, Wellington. Great field position here. Yeah, well, the sun in his eyes here. The defence of Pedro Feta. He just had a little look up just as that ball was coming into his grip. Opportunity, a massive one here for Wellington. What can their forwards do from this line out? Goes over the back. Cleaned up though by Whitman. Gee, I just thought he was through. Just thought he was through for a moment, but the ball has been lost forward in the air. No, Taranaki. He said it was touched by James Blackwell, I think the captain, but geez, Keelan Whitman was gone. What am I seeing this? Here we go. You're right, KT. Just, yeah, yeah Roger. Never doubted you, Jamie. Oh, but disappointing for Wellington. This is their prime opportunity for them, set piece, and just getting their communication. And of course, they've walked into that line out. They've got to nail those opportunities. Coach! Fine! Set! Stable scrum. Taranaki under the feet of Yasuo Kula and Crowley down at Naholo. And Space puts the kick through too. Kenny Naholo stays in field. That's absolutely brilliant. What's so good about Naholo? He's so strong in the hips and he doesn't need. Yeah, that's right. So it's ball. Yep. And that is 50-22. Yeah, you bang on, BC. The 50-22. What, uh, what can or what can't Kenny Naholo do? That's fantastic. So they'll have possession here. Taranaki, one of the new rules, of course. And I think to the surprise of some of the Wellington players too. And Slater. Moore goes up. Getting it moving here, Taranaki. It's looked good so far this afternoon. Trying to organise themselves on defence. Wellington, they've got an advantage here. Peter Gasua Kula, two out. Potros plays half back. They flick it on hands here. Daniel Waite. Just need to move it, surely they will score. Jason Potros. Well, he scores the try. But put that down to that brilliance from the man he's embracing there, Kenny Naolo, who got them the 50-22. Yeah, a lot of skill involved in this build-up too by Taranaki. It was a good drive once again from the line out. Just rumbling through. Potros did well. A couple of rucks before it to go in and clear the ball. He saw that it was what needed, and in the end gets wraps around. Nice try. Well, let's go right back to that mistake from Peter Feta. It gave Wellington a throw to the line, and they didn't nail that. The turnover ball, a really good scrum. The breakaway out from Taranaki all the way down the other end. Then their line out starting to function, their set piece. Just critical moments in this game. Just letting Wellington down. Conversion successful and Taranaki starting to get into their work now. 17-8, they lead Wellington coming up to half, a half an hour gone at Inglewood. Yeah, situational awareness here from Potros to number 10. There was no support player there in the clean, so he had to get there. Sprinted in, released the ball and then wrapped around. That was good work. This time, Taranaki can't take the restart, so Diplessy could, if he winds up, straight to Tay Walden, trying to get over the ball is Florence. That's there for Morgan, out to Lawson, ball goes to ground, and Potofilo cleans up, and they try and blow through on the counter, right, Taranaki, but it is there for Numia. This powerful loose head for Wellington. Down to the back line. Beautiful little pass from Asu to Karifi. And over the ball is Tay Warden. What does the ref say? Play on. And so Whitman, Keelan Whitman, being used heavily on the crash ball. Morgan. Ball to ground and hacked through. Here comes Taranaki. Picked up Huyata. So a counter attacking chance now for the home side, Potros. Away to Peter Gasso, cooler back on the inside for Walden. 
Florence. Oh, Florence. But uh, Wellington, some good work at the breakdown. Player was holding on, and that relieves some pressure. Oh, it's like we haven't left. Hey, both of these teams spreading the ball. Tay Warden, I thought he had a turnover earlier on in the piece. But Wellington forced to get back in numbers. You can see there, the working hard, a lot of hands on hips. But another turnover at the tackle for them. Just a massive stand to time in opposition 22, nearly three minutes for Taranaki. Hence Lee, but the defence of Wellington sticking in there. We're celebrating Māori Language Week, Te Reo Māori. Hope you're enjoying our coverage here on Sky Sport, wherever you are watching around the world. Great to have the Bunnings NPC back in action. Now Wellington, now through Morgan. Kerifi again, second receiver. Peter Gasso Kula tries to get over it. And for Numia once more. Matamatavuki Nikens, the Lord it is up there on defence. Four gold was offside. It was Lord who was offside, so... Four gold offside. Wellington. A chance for the shot, or might go to the corner. I was going to say Blackwell. Be interesting his call here. Really goes to the sideline and try and keep this momentum going. He's can see like they're going to have a shot for goal here. Yeah, shot they're having here, yeah, Wellington. It gives, it, gives them a bit of a breather as well. Wellington, a few heavy breathing out there. Their forward pack especially, they had to scramble a lot. And pretty big stuff coming up. Absolutely. GC, this will be a cracker. Australia, South Africa, the rematch. Can Quake Cooper do it again? Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. It was a beauty, that last game between the two sides. And this one, a cracker too. Argentina against the All Blacks. A whole host of changes for Ian Foster. Uh, still fielding a solid 23. Uh, we're here, Bunnings NPC, beautiful conditions in Inglewood. As Aidan Morgan looks to add a few more for the visitors. Morgan is on target. Lovely kick. So 32 gone and three points really for Wellington. They're staying in touch, aren't they? They need to. Uh, their scoreboard reflects a bit of dominance from Taranaki. Just staying in touch, those three points. Just making sure that scoreboard doesn't get away on them. I get the feeling this game can really explode soon. So much. Firepower, both of these teams have seen it on display already. As uh, Pata Filo carries outside the 22, taken back. So there from Morgan. And he gets plenty of distance on it, but not in touch. So Pedro Feta into Potros. He's got plenty of time to eye up the kick. And he gets that in behind. Now just slipping on the turf slightly. The sun up to Filo, but Morgan has uh, a better angle to work with. And this time, it's uh, well and truly into touch. Yeah, again, great exit there from Aidan Morgan. <laughs> because the Wellington players taken, he can't have a quick throw in. That's why he's getting the boo birds. Well, Jackson Garden Bishop trying to get his hands on the ball again. Part of their uh, support crew here as he's recovering from injury, of course. He is gone. Over the back this time for Huyata. Now Croswell. Now they move it through. Naholo gets the ball off to brilliant, brilliant offload. Pero Feta. Kerefe tries to get over it. But it's still there. And ball is loose. And now Wellington. Through Vince Assel. Usually winds up, puts a kick through this time. Goes straight up in the air. Matamatavuki Nekins chasing and Wellington over it. Pleading with James Dolman. Turnover clean for Taranaki. And Peter Gasol Kula passed it off to Michael Bent. Wasn't expecting it, but there for Crowley. Now they shift it through Poyata Potros. 
running freely. Hey Warden taken in a good tackle by Fisana Potofilo. Good recycle for the home side. Five to go in this first half. As Crowley is swamped on defence and flag up. But uh, some good recycle from Taranaki. Yeah, a couple of turnovers too. I think one into the first one, Duplessis Kirifi in the second one. Tom Florence on that far side. So both number sevens having a huge influence on this game. And now the lungs are starting to burn from both teams. It's been accurate in these situations. Good awareness too from Xavier Numia, just putting the halfback over the sideline. And it goes again, Thompson for Wellington. And ball's turned over again here, I think. Yes, it is. So Bent will play halfback. They've got an offside advantage here. Well, Vince Arsall was away to the races. He cut down an option by being there. Two black. And Tananaki offside. will come back for the penalty. Did you see Josh Lord there ripping that ball away from that line out? They took it down high there, Wellington. Something wasn't right. Uh, no, it's not. It's up. Yeah, I understand that. We're going to keep playing, so... Just in a transfer there for Wellington. Let's just see Tyrone Thompson creeping around the wrong side of the ruck. Uh, no, boys, we're going to move over here. Looks like so he can keep playing. Tananaki. No, no, no. What I'm telling you is he needs to move. Are we okay? Okay, well, he's going to kick around him. Some running repairs for hey, um, Puyata. Guys, the medic can't just come on there, and if I'm asking him to move, he's telling the player to take a knee. It's not okay to slow the game down. If he does it, I'm just going to penalise him. That's pretty tough on the players. Pretty bad. Hey, come on again. I think what he's saying over there, BC, the Jimmy D's defence, no, he was saying the trainer was telling him to, to okay, take so a knee rather than the player going, going down go himself. So that's fair enough. I get where you're coming from, though, but Taranaki with the Fanahamene penalty. Pirofeta on the angle. Swings it around beautifully. Great fade. Stephen Pirofeta. And coming up to half time here at Inglewood. Taranaki, the nine point lead over Wellington. And Coach Neil Barnes will be a lot more relaxed. Points differential now with 20 to 11 for their dominance so far. He won't want to leak any for the half. Morgan again. Deep restart inside Taranaki's 22. Peter Feto, oh, hands just letting them down there. Logan Crowley, but went back. And oh, smart defence, Wellington. Great goal line pressure here. And they win the penalty. 15. Off your feet. Off your feet. Now what's the option? Oh, set the scrum. Wellington. BC will set the scrum, wouldn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He'd get a front row, get his hands on that ball, don't let it go anywhere else. 15 ceiling. And BC's just told them scrum, but no, Aiden Morgan hasn't listened to Ben Castle. <laughs> He's gone for the corner. Well, Wellington, they need to take full toll of this. They need a good... Tyrone Thompson, yeah, trying to feed that line out, how they set this up, it looks plum tree, plum tree. Sitting there, the first jumper there, Blackwell, he's been a big target in the middle, it's whether Taranaki, whether they choose to compete or stay down, that drive or the peel away. Going to the front, plum tree, and locking it at the back there, Kirifi. Now it's collapsed by one. To ground it goes, they've got an advantage here. Richard Judd, plenty of willing runners waiting one off here. And Caleb Delaney puts his head down. Five out, Wellington. Looking for a try to close it up. Heading into the half. You have advantage for Clap Small. Here they go now through. Alex feet out. Good pressure coming through. Josh Lord. You have advantage. Another advantage here for Wellington. Now Morgan. They floated on through. Lawson. Now Judd. Looks away to the left. Good crash ball there. Delaney. Well done there. Let me find the mark. You have two James options. Dolman one over there was playing the penalty advantage. Out. And they've got a couple of options here, Wellington. Just over here. Yeah. Roll clear. They've taken this penalty. Roll. I wonder if BC gets his wish. 
supposed to go in the middle, you think so. There it is. There we go. Yeah, time's off. I can feel your smile, BC. I can feel it. Time's off, guys. Boot. Well, it's a good option. It's one of the hardest places to defend scrum time. In the midfield there, the loose forwards, so they have to hitch their bets. Their ball can stay in the back of the scrum. Of course, you've got to nail the process first, but as that scrum starts to move, so the loose forwards start to have a look up. You keep the ball at the back and keep driving through. Get a numerical advantage as you're moving forward. They'll be talking in there. Bradley Slater, Tom Florence talking about what they need to do and here's the captain Kadifi. he'll be laying down what he needs to see from this platform see that okay time back uh, on yeah, of course James Blackwell with the armband today but a big part of their leadership group and the options off the back of the scrum that'll be key yeah, well halfback's got to be on the far side you can do the 8-9 right which normally you spoke about the miracle advantage but there's a lot of firepower and the try score on the left with Wes Hudson there you go Stuff loaded the left hand side one, two, three, four, and just two to the right. Wellington, plenty of firepower waiting on the blind side here. Ruben Love, get in the gap there, far side. And, uh, Pipisana Patafilo, come up, get in the gap on the outside. And will we see Keelan Whitman off the back? Reset as uh, the clock ticks past 40 minutes gone at Inglewood. And Taranaki, three tries to one over Wellington. And the last one, 2016 Taranaki against the Lions. Free kick, you're going to take the scrum again. Free you kick here, and they go smartly. Morgan floats it across. Arsul, he's just out here. The centre, Kirifi waits, but they go to Plumtree. And Wellington looking for a try. Right on half time here, Thompson. Oh, Karifi has his hands on it. Smart tackle, he's so close to Pussy Karifi. Judd Morgan, a way to love. Beautiful step off the right, Ruben Love. Great tackle though, Taranaki. It's there for Judd again. Building patiently, Wellington. Trying to drive their way to the line. Judd has his hands on it. Cut out, there it is for Lawson. Good defence coming in by Hoyata, but still there for Wellington. Now they go to Laney, so close. A player down there for Wellington. I think it's Numia. The Taranaki trying to muscle up on defence. They're close here through Delaney. Wellington just inches in it. And Dolman, double blow. And here comes a card for Taranaki. And it'll be the captain, Tay Walden. Taurangi Walden. That's a real blow right on half time. Time's off, blood down. That was staunch initially there. Taranaki, it was a couple of times they nearly had the turnover, the shake of the head by the skipper. But he's going to sit down for 10 minutes into the second half. That's pretty simple. When the play down there, not rolling away there. And Xavier Numia. A little bit of blood in the call there from the referee. So I said to him the first line that he's gone head on head. He needs to get on the outside of him. And the next time he's done the same thing. So this will be a beauty tomorrow. Hawks Bay, Bay of Plenty. McLean Park. The Ranfilly Shield is on the line. So good to have Bunnings NPC back. Can the Magpies defend it again? A sixth tenure with the Ranfilly Shield. They play so well at home especially when that's up for grabs. There's a nice run from Numia. Xavier Numia. Yeah, there it is, Numia. Good. Goes to ground. Okay. And it's good to see him up and about. Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow back time on. So a man in the bin for Taranaki, a uh, captain Taurangi Walden. Scrum called. Roll. And they're going for a set-piece scrum again, BC. 
Well, they do, and we're now... Of course, they've got to back off KT. The options now, where they, where they stack left or right with a back down. That ball's got to be a really clean feed and get it out as fast as possible, surely. Yeah, we've got to leave the outside man on the far side, so it buys your time. Defensively. So going to get three to the right-hand side, Taranaki. Leave the outside man. Logan Crowley will have to take that first five and first attacker on that far side so it's going to open up lanes on this right hand side Bit of pressure coming advantage Wellington another advantage here loose head down no advantage much better Jeez, you go again with a scrum wouldn't you man. Taranaki under, under pressure thing, scrum yep. scrum they're a man down at scrum time here, Taranaki, because they've taken Peter Gasawakula. He is defending it. Now, just off the scrum now, so they're only a seven-man sweep. You can see him down there with Potros. Boys, will move over just with this. They've taken one forward out of that scrum, so getting a good feed. That, that scrum went down, so they need... There it is. He's standing out there. He's marking backs. He's athletic enough and good enough player to handle that. His skill set's very good, but now the options here, Wellington and two minds, so they kick the ball, get the ball to the back to Keelan Whitman's feet. Drive straight. How well, you feel? This is a massive moment potentially in this contest. Seven points here, Wellington. Plays it up to a two-point game at the half. Remember, Taranaki will be without their captain for the first part of the second half. Richard Judd, stable scrum for Wellington under the feet of Whitman. Judd taking a look out to the left or coming through smartly on defence. Taranaki and Logan Crowley still there for Wellington. Plumtree. Yeah, Judd organising the attack. There for Thompson. Tries to burrow his way over. Fidel waits. Good defence coming on the tight head. Oh, Wellington, maybe some space now here. Arsenal, oh, spot tackle. Stephen Perofeta, hand surely for Wellington. Oh, did he score it? Pepe Sana Patafilo, he does. Try awarded. And that is just a reward for Wellington. They've closed up this one at the half. Oh, patience. Under pressure. An outstanding pass for pass from Vince Arsenal. This one here, nothing doing. They jam in. He knew they had numbers on the outside, out the back door. Two of them, a good finish. Well, they had to come away with something, didn't they? Wellington, they'd been parked up down in the end. Penalty after penalty. They scored it right in the corner. Oh, he was close. But a great finish. Nonetheless, well done. Yeah, finished by Pepesana Patafilo, but Ruben Love, heck of an offload. Aidan Morgan, 43 on the angle, tough kick this, but uh, this would make it a two-point game in Inglewood. win to contend with for Aidan Morgan. Aidan Morgan starts to left, tries to swing around, can't do it. At half time at Inglewood. That's the home side, Taranaki, a four-point lead, 20 points to 16 over Wellington. Welcome back to Inglewood, 20 points to 16, Taranaki over Wellington, let's head sideline now, Ben Castle. Well, thanks for joining us, Johnny. Uh, firstly, back at uh, Bunnings NPC. Must be nice for your group. Yeah, 
Kia ora Ben, uh, welcome to Taranaki. Um, mate, it's awesome, the boys have uh, been doing a fair bit of training and not a lot of playing, so uh, they're really, really pumped and excited to, uh, to get back in front of the crowd. And a good old fashioned arm wrestle this one too with Wellington. Uh, where do you sense the second half needs to go for you? Well, we just need to work hard. I mean, we showed a fair bit of ticker at the, uh, in the last couple of minutes and obviously, unfortunately, let them in. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll come down to a bit of heart and a uh, fair bit of you know, blood, sweat and tears to, to dig in and get some points. I wish you well second half. Good luck. Champion, thanks very much. Now Johnny Weston there and KT talked about who wants it more defence in the second half. So key given the attack we've seen from both sides in that first 40. Yeah, both teams have been very desperate, I think, to come down to those fitness levels. We spoke about how long these teams and players have been out. They haven't had much time together as units, so substitutes will definitely be, be a factor. Ruben Love will be a factor. <laughs> Hasn't really gone his way so far. But, geez, there are some class players in both teams. And geez, there's been some attacking football, that's for sure. Taranaki with their captain off Tay Walden for another six more minutes to negotiate that. So, very important period at the start of this game. Second half, sorry. They storm back into it, into that first half. Wellington got up their sleeves in the second 40. Aiden Morgan gets us underway once more at Inglewood. And taken down there, Daniel Waite. Away now to Florence and Peter Gusso. Met well by the Defence Committee of Wellington. Potros with the clearance. And it's not a bad exit to start the second half. It's a bit hot potato there at the start of it until we're able to get it back to Potros. He's been good so far. Hold there, Gold. I'll get them in. Yeah, hold there. We can't, I can't do the old hell hold it now. If you come in, I can see them. A-Y-M. <laughs> Tyrone Thompson. Now go to the back, over the back, in fact, and Bradley Slater has it cleaned up. Peter Gus saw Kula. Bit of space and just taken round the bootlaces. Now Kenny Nahulu picks it up and says, I'll have a crack. So Kula waits again, head down and smack to Brandon Lawson. They win a penalty, though, here at Taranaki. He needs to clear the area first. That one against Keelan Whitman. I like the way Kenny Nahulu is just not satisfied of staying on his wing. He came in. So able to keep, create a little bit of space. And for Taranaki, this is a smart move. A, they get opportunity for points. B, time off the clock. Sua Kula, heavily invested in the start of the second up, as you'd expect to carry. That bit's all right. That bit, not, not so much. It's back to that line out though, isn't it? Taranaki, they cleared, they had the ball there. More matches though coming up. Northland, Tasman, even Whangarei, 4.30. Yeah, it'll be a big challenge for Northland. Itai Tokoro at home against the defending Premiership champions, Tasman. First one of the season, still Northland, but here at Inglewood, it's Taranaki, the four-point lead. And uh, Stephen Pedofetta will look to add three more. Pedofetta, no problems with the distance. He's on target, too. Great kick. From the Taranaki fullback, smiles on the faces. Great to see Afano friends out here supporting Taranaki. And an absolutely stunning day. So Taranaki, well, those stats suggest that it could be a good second half with the lead they have. And up to Mike at Buki Nikens outside the 22. And coming through is uh, Thompson, but it is there for Crowley. He sends it up, and it's well navigated by Ruben Love. Good tackle coming through too. Taranaki, hot potato, ball goes backwards. Couple of knock-ons in there. Uh, James Dolman says play on. 
And so, uh, Richard Judd, good counter up coming from Taranaki. Brilliant work at the breakdown. And here they come through midfield. Potros floats it away. Kenny Noholo. Beautiful step off his left. Oh, just losing it forward. Just losing it forward. Kenny Noholo. But again, the danger that man produces. Well, Pot Ross, I don't know if you could hear it over the microphone. You could hear him screaming for it. He hit the line and he knew all he needed to do was straighten up and hit the ball wide out to Naholo, who was looking for the offload. I think there he is there. Gives it straight to his man. Great footwork. Oh, it ripped away from Lawson. Outstanding defense. But who did that counter up? Was that Florence again from Taranaki? Yeah, that whole forward pack getting stuck in. You hear Johnny Weston, the assistant coach from Taranaki, you're talking about working hard and a bit of heart. Well, that's a great example, blowing that ruck away, turning that ball over. Making it hard for Richard Judd. Couldn't clear it, and they just go on the attack again, Taranaki. Yeah, Tom Florence, we mentioned him, one of the top three arrivers at ruck time in the comp this year. Such a weapon for this Taranaki side. A bit of pressure coming on at set piece. Wellington will try and make an exit through Lawson. He does well, getting outside his 22. Clean has come. And it's there for Morgan. Our love tries to step around the tackle of Potros. Can't do it. Taranaki's defence has been pretty smart to start this second half. There's Kadifi. Right at Delaney. Now Morgan. Now they shifted through Arsor. Here they come at the field. Oh, this goes forward. It's a shame there. Really, really is it. Last pass. They created the overlap. It was smoking down the sideline. Oh, yeah. Yeah, easy. Easy call there for the referee. Yeah. Yeah, talked about how crucial he will be the key in this Wellington back line. So we've got a few subs here, BC. Their substitution, Peter Umanga Jensen, number 22. He is coming on. Nice to bring him off the bench now. And also Tyrone Thompson, his day is done. Bruce Koika Peterson is on at number 16. Ankle. And Brandon Lawson, the one. Nice Peter, Munger Jensen. Not a bad player to bring on. One test all black, Peter, Umunga Jensen, KT. Oh, outstanding. Outstanding player, Peter Umunga Jensen. Still must be amongst the mix as well, obviously. Game time needed. Issues with injuries leading into this NPC, but geez. That is great timing to bring him on. But Lawson, I think he's been brilliant. I reckon he really, 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 really played well. Especially defensively, saw break here. And here we go, international time. Come on. This should be a beaut. The box against the Wallabies. Oh, we see. Come on, boys. Springboks, the world champions, make a statement. That second test against the Wallabies. Craig Cooper was on fire. First test match should be a thriller. And this too, the All Blacks against Argentina. And a fresh looking 23 for Ian Foster. So Tauranga Warden was uh, sent to the bin at the end of that first half. So still playing with 14 Taranaki. The seven point lead for the home side. Crowley under the feet of Peter Gasol, Kula. Oh, a bit of weight coming on. They've got an advantage here, too. And there he goes himself. Does Crowley. Trying to get over it. Duplessis Kadifi. Good clean, though, Taranaki. And here they come storming through Michael Bent. Lord, another advantage offside against Wellington. And Tom Florence just pinches the ball and goes inside the 22. Now they go through O'Neill. Bunston midfield, Taranaki. They've got the advantage, remember. And there'll be none coming, so James Dolman will come back. But gee, Taranaki with 14 players really rolling their sleeves up, taking it to Wellington. 
Again, do they go to the points and slow this game down, or do they go to their line out, which has been Supreme Pedal Fifth stepping up? Good scrum here. Just talk us through BC. Oh, this is good. This is brilliant. This is on the other side there. That loose head side, Ruben O'Neill. He's putting plenty of pressure to Alex Fido. And they're well positioned. They just wait. Then they get over the advantage line. And then they really go to work. Their forward pack to stepping up. There's Michael Bent. He's been very good on that tight head side as well. Both set piece and carrying the experience. And say who are ready? Teorangi Walden. Back on to full complement in the way Stephen Peter Feta is kicking at the moment. Yeah, good option, I think, though, taking the Fana Hamine, the penalty for Taranaki. Just keep building points, make Wellington chase the game, hopefully force them into a rash decision, a mistake, and try and capitalise on that. Tay Warden, a little bit of experience. Fourth year with Taranaki, of course, five at Otago. Māori All Black is Pedro Feta. Again, he's on target. So Taranaki extend the lead, 26 points to 16. They lead Wellington now. Oh, Peter Gasso Kula had quite a game, hasn't he? In the number eight jersey for Taranaki is Morgan. So a 10-point lead now for the home side. And Wellington won't want it to get too much larger than that as uh, the ball is to ground by Logan Crowley. So yes. and Mitch Croswell probably hasn't played much halfback in his life, but he does get a reasonably good pass to Jason Potros. And he pops it downfield for the exit. Wellington have been pretty happy going to the short line out. Looks like they're going to go there again. Bruce Koeka Peterson. First throw, the man in the 16 jumper. And the short option for Wellington. Oh, it tries to compete, Hoyata, but it is there for the Lions. And now Kadifi. Crash ball says, get out of my way to Jason Potros. And he gets some gain line for Wellington. Now Plumtree to ground. Here they come. Here they get Jensen, plays halfback. And now normal service resumes for Judd. Hoyda Morgan. Cut out for Arsenal. Wellington. Building nicely here down the right. Ruben Love tries to stab a little grubber through. I'm not too sure about that kick, KT, but as it stands, it'll be a line-out Wellington. Yeah, another one, but the first carry from Duplessis, Kedifi, absolutely brilliant. The number seven. No regard for his own body. He was in there 100 miles an hour. Kerika Peterson, and it goes, and up goes Delaney. And Kedifi plays halfback. And all... Wellington, Arsenal, they get it away. Morgan's in space. Hoyson oh, steps off his left. He's well taken care of by Jason Potros. Now Slater will clean up for Taranaki. Now just shut down the space for Wes Hoyson. And it's uh, there for the home side. They'll try and make it an exit, but they'll try and do it through this bloke. Kitty Naholo. Oh, he can't quite skin the defence. But the ball's still alive for Taranaki. Now it's turned over to Wellington. Helter Skelter phase play from both teams as Morgan tries to wade his way through. Can't get past Tay Walden. Goeka Peterson wrapped up around the bootlaces, Lord. And they win a penalty here, Wellington. On the 10 metre mark inside Taranaki territory. It was the right call from Taranaki to run from behind their own try line when you got. Kitty Naholo against Xavier Numia. Oh, I'd rate number 11's chances as well. Not balanced. He had a man on the outside, saw it, tried to straighten up, went round the outside. Not supporting body weight. Great work, but just a little bit of composure right here. Sometimes you don't need that. Neil Barnes won't be happy with that last pass. Well, there's the infringement there, Ruben O'Neill. 
just off his feet. That's given Aidan Morgan. Nice to Aidan Morgan, just that last try before half time. A blemish there, but you're right, really good defence from Wellington on that occasion. Xavier Numea just shepherding Nahola over to that line there where Pepesana put the filo, picked him up. 50% today for Aidan Morgan off the tee. This one 44 out. problems with distance Aiden Morgan again and he's on target accurate from Aiden Morgan and 52 minutes gone at Inglewood Taranaki in front 26 points to 19 he yeah, squeezes it up to one try for Wellington shooting distance now Taranaki very slow to walk back to this restart Four weeks off the comp. Start again for both teams. And it's been a cracking game of footy so far as Morgan takes the restart. And he sends it downfield. And he finds a good touch too. He's looked very comfortable today. This game's gone on in particular as Aidan Morgan. Very good off the tee. He spoke about the Jeff penalties in particular. Three out of three. Uh, great ground, isn't it? Great little community around here, Inglewood and Taranaki. Good to see a crowd out after all of the restrictions we've had. They win the line out, and Potros puts his right foot to it, sends it up, and a challenge here for Ruben Love under pressure. But as it, it's worked out for Wellington and Wes Hoyson, just on their 22, that could have gone anywhere. Taranaki was screaming through his hustle. Now he floats it. Now some space here. Oh, Lord came in. And I think he went high there. He did. So Dolman awards the penalty to Wellington. Pipisana up the field. Copped it from Lord. Oh, there's a lot to be said for a contestable kick. So it was put up nice and high by Potros. And outstanding chase from Taranaki, as you spoke about. Became a 50-50 ball. Just dipped on Ruben Love right at the end there. But fortunately for Wellington, that number's coming back in support to help the fullback just recover. To run back, eyes for the ball. Just feel him coming in, didn't he? Where's Hooson? Brilliant, though. There's a winger. Got to support your fullback. Wonderful kick again, Aiden Morgan. Carved off territory. That's the 22 meter line there. As they walk into this line out, we'll to see Kariffi at halfback. He peeled away on that last one. They shaped up. We'll see what he does here. Well, they send up Whitman, ball loose, and therefore Kaoka Peterson. Now they go again, Patafilo getting his hands on the ball a bit more in the second half. And Morgan fires it away to Ruben Love, decides to head back in field. Hadley Slater makes the tackle. It's there for Judd. And some options down the short side here. Morgan floats it away. Kuika Peterson again. Another touch for the reserve hooker. And a player down there for Wellington. I think it's Pepesana Patafilo. And now. Umaga Jensen thought about the pass, took the line on, gets a wee bit of gain line for Wellington. Morgan, away to Asso. He's well taken care of. Daniel Waite. Turnover's good. And a clean turnover, Taranaki. Gee, some brilliant defence this afternoon from the Bulls. And down the right, they try and go through Peter Feta. And he's met by Vince Asso and Co. Florence there, immovable at the breakdown. And they go through one of their try scorers, big Michael Bent. Now Crowley spies a bit of space, puts it over the top. Chase is coming, trying to get his hands on it. Now to Matavuki Neepkins. Ball is back and kicked through Crowley. And some work to do here for Peter Umunga Jensen. Evades the first tackle of White, evades the second. Here he comes, Peter Umunga Jensen. Up towards the 10 inside Wellington Territory. And he gets them on the front foot again. The kick through Richard Judd. And returned Pedro Feta in behind Ruben Love. And he's got plenty of time. And uh, do they play it quickly here? They do. Rata Maitabuki, Nitkins to Peter Gasso, Kula. Potros now. Five offside. Puts the foot down. Jason Potros tries to find some support. Numbers down the blind, but open here. 
for uh, Taranaki and James Dolman penalised Caleb Delaney on that occasion. I think both teams are pretty happy for the penalty and the release. Long period of play for both sides, ABC. Oh, there's a lot of hands on it. There's a lot of tired bodies out there remembering they have been away from rugby. Having that break, they've just come back in. They've only been 10 days together as they've rolled up the sleeves again. And this has been a physical game. There's been a lot of running around, a lot of kicking, a lot of kick chase. And here's Peter Umunga Jensen. This will bring a substitute on. This is what you need. You need some impact. You need some power and some pace. Strong in the tackle. Good work. Here's Potros. Well, he's been very good as well today with ball in hand. Elusive, turning back the clock. to bring off the pine, Peter Umanga Jensen. As KT said, we still have designs on higher honours. Good to see him back playing at that level we know he's capable of. Uh, Peter Feta to make it a 10-point game again. Problems again, Peter Feta with the distance on target. Heck of a kick, Stephen Peter Feta. And Aaron full voice now, the Taranaki crowd, 29 to 19, they lead Wellington. Yeah, Uncle's happy, that's for sure. I'm so with the rest of this crowd here. 10 point lead for Xavier Numia. He's left. Yeah, 10, just wait, mate. KT, he's come off. Uh, Vince Sakaria, number 17, is on also. Sam Smith, and number 20, he's on for Tane Plumtree. Now the bench so key in the second half. As BC said, plenty of time away from competition. Morgan again, and Lord goes up. Take on the restart. That's there for Crowley. Now it's a cooler inside ball for Florence. And they've got a turnover, Wellington. Brilliant work. Holding. Arriving player. Well, we talk about how good Taranaki have been there this afternoon, but Wellington, big turnover, our mark in this game. Yeah, well, interesting call here. Do you go for the guaranteed three points, make it a one-score game again, or do you go for the juggle and try and get the five or seven inside pass here to Florence? Just straight over the pill, too easy there, Alex Fidel extending. The substitution's also Taranaki. Jared Prophet and number 17. He's on for number one, Ruben O'Neill. And number 23, Veroniki Tukoe Solomone. He is on for Kenny Naholo. Well, you take off Kenny Naholo, you bring on a guy who set Pukakura Park a light against Hawks Bay. Veroniki Tukoe Solomone has got an absolute stunner in that game. Look out for the man of the 23 jumper, Koeka Peterson. Big line out Wellington, they win it clean. Good take. And they try and get this more moving forward. Defence holding at the moment for Taranaki. Richard Judd has his hands on it. And away they go. And here they go through Oyson at first receiver. Trying to get over it. Taranaki still there for Wellington. Delaney. All eight metres out here. Now Karifi. Such a hard player to bring down. Does his best to Hurangi Walden. Now Delaney again. Good tackle. Bradley Slater to bring him down. Morgan Hoyson steps off the left. Evades the first line of defence. Can't get past the second. And they win another turnover, Taranaki. Well, we've seen some fantastic tries in this game. But... A real hallmark of their play today has been defence. Well, that's how you make an impact off the bench. Jared Prophet coming straight on and turning that ball over. To be fair, it was good team defence there. They were coming forward in numbers, really pressurising their area. It's good work there. That's well, really Wellington, isn't it? Some of the areas they've made, up, made on attack connected they are and what they're doing it's a very good kick as well from Feta Feta but just fighting over that ball they're running out of options it's a defence on the outside there's Ta Walden Linda Moore Oyata over the top and there it is 
good fight. Stay on the 10, boys. On the line. Oh, some great work from Maggie it. at the breakdown. Arriving in numbers. And uh, at the moment, it's really frustrating, this Wellington attack. Getting themselves in good field position, the lines. The 10, boys, so you're off it. And still plenty of time left in this game. Trailing by 10 points. Short one again. This time he reels it in. Finn Huyata. Good take by the, the five. Got an advantage here. Taranaki. Bradley Slater. Yeah, the Crowley. Advantage. Organising the troops again. Potros. Up smartly. Umaga Jensen on Sokula. Uh, try and get over at this time the lines. But they do have an advantage now. Bent. Kawika Peterson on defence. Uh, no advantage there. coming. Off feet. And, uh, the marks over here. James Dunwin will come back to the mark. Three black, sacking the lifter. We just feel now Taranaki really just playing this game at their own pace. The skipper's the call for the sideline, yeah. Try times. That'll be the main objective, I'm sure, for Taranaki. Well, quite a that's a great kick there from Stephen Fetofeta, but it's quite a technical penalty off that line out there, sacking the lifter. You try and get away with that. Talk about sacking the jumper at line-out time or pulling that jumper to the ground to stop any momentum at line-out time. This time they've pulled that lifter down. James Dolman, he's seen that. And look where it now is the pressure. Black's on the five. Goal just off it. Black on the five. Okay, they've got plenty of options. Well, this could be a telling blow for Taranaki if they can land it. Lord takes it off the Slater throw. And yeah, he's got it under the right wing there, Bradley Slater. Logan Crowley urging his forwards toward the line. Now they get it moving, Taranaki. That close. Brilliant work at more time. Wellington try and counter. They're over the line. Can they get it down? James Dolman looks. And uh, it's been held up. And it's held up. It's goal line. So it's a goal line dropout. It's in goal. One of the new rules. Held up. In held goal. up in goal. So a great move from Taranaki. But they will get possession of the dropout from the goal line. Oh, that's the next best thing for Wellington. Their great defence from them. That rolling more. It took a long time for Taranaki to get it moving. See, just getting underneath there. We're okay. Wellington, and in the end, they just sent the troops. Black. Try and stop it. Oh, I'm not sure that's quite that's legal. We got subs to both sides. Got away with one there. Yeah, behind the goal line. No, no offsides on the goal line. Read the rules well. Quick Peterson. Substitution here, Taranaki. Mills Sanadevi in number 20. He is on. Boys. Are we good to go? He's on for Mitchell Croswell. Richard Judd, he's left the field for Wellington. Connor Collins is on. Alex Fido. Okay, he's leaving on. the field. And Pekahou Gowan is on. Tay Morgan, a drop out from the goal line. Potros has it. And plenty of space for Pekahou to call out to wind up. And he gets Whitman out of the way in a hurry. Big fend, and they win a penalty. Second go. Had two bites at it. There we go. Off the ball, then back on. And pleading his Rough case, Duplessis Karifi. Uh, what do they do here? Yeah. See what Pedro Feather wants the shot. Yeah, there we go. Win first and foremost. That'll be of the captain's mind. Just a bit late to run. It's Croswell has been heavily involved, the experience. And this time now, 15 minutes to go. You've got to lean on your bench. Well, that's exactly what they're doing as well. Ricky Riccatelli is on too. What a player to bring on at this moment of the match. Bradley Slater, the hooker for Taranaki. Really good effort there is Ricky. They had to bring on a man of his experience. So 15 to go at Inglewood and Stephen Perofeta. Well, this would take it out to a 13-point lead. And uh, 
plenty of time left, but this will really stretch Wellington's capabilities, you'd have to think. That man on the bench, Kenny Naholo, another great game for the winger. He's kicked well today, has uh, Stephen Perofeta. He's on target again. Three more for Taranaki. Yep. And 66 minutes gone at Inglewood. 32-19 over Wellington. Yeah, Black. Second of one there. Successful there for Perofeta. Looks like Ada Morgan's day is over, is it, BC? Yeah, that's right. Tomasi Alosio, he is on in number 23, which will mean Ruben Love. We'll move into 10. There he is. There, Naden Morgan. Yeah. A good start in the 10 jersey. So much young talent across the park. There's one of them, Ruben Love, 20 years of age out of Palmy North, boys. And he gets us underway once more. Potros. Puts a right foot to it. And bang downtown. Now, where's Huyson? Gets around Potros. And it doesn't get around that man, Peter Gus saw cooler. Not many do. And so Wellington now just needs something to go their way. You feel just a lucky break. Now they wind up through Cowan. It's there for Collins, the new halfback on the park. Not oh, Kadifi, he was taken high there. Coleman says play on. Now they go through Blackwell. The captain this afternoon, Love, or tries to find the player with the pass, but ball to ground. And flag up, Taranaki possession. He's just looking a bit loose now here, Wellington, so someone needs to take control, whether it be Vince Asso or Peter Umanga Jensen. That's the one for me. Tomasi Alosio made his Manusa Moore debut to the number 23 for Wellington. Outstanding player. They've got to get the hand, ball in the hands of this guy right here. I think he's the key. Riccatelli and Koyata, another good take from Finn Hoyata. Okay, try the 15, you can come. It's there with Riccatelli at the back of the small. Tries to get it moving forward. Up over halfway, Taranaki. And Neil Barnes will be happy. It's worked well this afternoon, hasn't it? And it's there now for Liam Blight. Away to Potros. Thought about the pass, puts the contestable up instead. And oh, that's a heck of a take from Wes Hoyson. Traffic into the sun. And it's there for Collins. And now Umaga Jetson does have it. Now big defence coming in from Tikoi Solomone. But Taranaki, now Ruben Love, little show of the ball, takes the line on himself. Now Collins, the way they go again. Just trying to find a crack in this Taranaki scene. The defence has been outstanding today. Hupasi Karifi to ground. Collins. It's been relentless, hasn't it? Florence up on the defensive line that time. Cut out ball here for Vince Asso. He floats it to Hoyson. Just no way through. Seven phases for Wellington. And so Akula tries to get over it there for Collins, though. Now Love decides to put the kick over toward that right wing. Now climbing for it, Taranaki, but Peter Umanga Jackson has it. Becoming a bit more involved now. Some urgency in this Wellington game. Again, Hoyson, he's been busy off of his wing this afternoon. One of their try scorers is Collins. Here they come. Breaking through. Brilliant work from Wellington. And they try and find some space down the right through Cowan. They've got an advantage here too. So Collins, they can chance their arm if they want. Love, little stab kick. Chasing through. Wellington will score here, will they? Yes, they will. Brilliant try. And Sammy Smith. Yeah, he's the one that made that mini break just moments earlier. You knew how important the bench was going to be in Sam Smith. Well, he's got his team right back in this one with that try. Smart work with a little chip over the top from Ruben Love. Sammy Smith punches through. No one in behind. They'll expose their Taranaki. Great pick up. Back in at other lines. 
Well, they had to score, really. They had gone 11 really strong phases, and then into Ruben Love's hands just to pop it over the top. They just come on the park. We talked about Peter Munger Jensen making impact. He touched the ball plenty of times in that movement. And then Sam Smith out of Wired Upper College. And of course, Wainui Club there in Wellington. A couple of great touches. No problems, Ruben Love. We've got a game on our hands. Nine to go at Inglewood. Sam Smith with the try brings Wellington right back into it. 32 points to 26. They trail now. Cole Stewart in number 18. He's on for Michael Bent. Tight head Scott Jury on debut out of the Stratford Ethan Club. In the number 19 jersey. He's replaced Finn the more way out up. Time back on. And Daniel Rona, the number 22, he is on as well. He's replaced number 13, Daniel Waite. Third plot tries. Yeah, Wellington 22. Inside. 18 step. Good man. Well, Sam Smith sparked him. Now Collins sends it in behind. And down to that left wing of Taranaki Potros. And he can't get around. Good tackle, Josh Tumanga. And now the kick coming for Taranaki Verafeta. And eyeing this up, Hoysen does well. He's been great in the air today. Where's Hoysen? Gets the pass off to Alosio. And Space gets it off too to Collins. Oh, just wrangled in by the Taranaki defence and they plead for a turnover and it's awarded oh, Tomasi Alosio almost had Taranaki sliced open but again, brilliant breakdown defence yeah, I'm not sure who that was was that Sonny Revi, jersey number 20 for Taranaki but geez, again under the bomb, where's Hussin last five minutes has taken two beauties up in the air that was another one Gave a nice pass to Alosio as well. And the ball, not out. So play on here. Ball not out. And Ruben Love, a bit of space. Gee, he's got great footwork, doesn't he? Fullback playing that first 5 eighth now for Wellington. And Sakaria. A straight forward ball bobbles. And James Dolman. Now straight off their feet, Wellington. Man over the ball, well, at times away. this afternoon, they've been their own worst enemy. Have the lines. And again, Taranaki off the hook. I'm sure they'll go for goal. Stephen Pedalfetta. Yeah. Uh, there's the tail of the tape. Three tries apiece, Taranaki and Wellington. Now, Stephen Perofeta having quite a day with the boot. Now, this is toward the edge of his range. And what a shot that is. Great camera work from our Sky crew. Himonga, Mount Taranaki. Of course, celebrating Te Reo Māori Language Week around New Zealand. Pedro Feta, he strikes it well. That one is away to the left, though, so... No change to the score, 32-26, about five to go at Inglewood. Yeah, they're on the right end of the field, though, uh, Taranaki. And they're going to receive the ball from Get this kickoff on left. They make it contestable. Wellington, I'm sure, will want to back their defence still. Six minutes left. No, stop. Boys, I need them all behind. All behind. And stay over the 22. Ruben Love with the restart. Eyes up, one tackle, Sammy. Still one all tackle. on here in this game. Peter Gasso Kula likes the pass away to that man, Daniel Rona. Trying to get over at Wellington again. Potros, good hands. 
Gets it away to the new man, Kyle Stewart. On the 10 metre mark inside their territory. Now Peter Feta floats it on. Dave Walden gets it to Vic Josh Lord. It's been industrious today. Busy around the park. Now Blyde gets it away into midfield and straight forward go Taranaki up towards the 10. And Blyde back to Peter Feta. And he sends it down. Playing the territory game, Wes Hoyson. It's been solid this afternoon. Fielding the ball, lots of back contact coming in. Another turnover. Scott Jerry in there for Taranaki. Kick over Blyde. And that one will dribble a bit too far. They're really trying to ratchet up the pressure now, Taranaki. Yeah, Rati Maitavuki Nipkins there getting over their ball and turning it over. Tanaki happy to give away here, possession and back their defense come up in a nice line. Just back up, goal. Back up. Just here, guys. Other side of the tent. Now, time against them now, Wellington. They need a solid scrum where they sit. Now, the Ruben Love first receiver. What options do they have? They've got to nail the scrum first. There have been some substitutions across both packs. Right now, Both with plenty of impact. The clock is against Wellington now, so a solid scrum. And down the other end of the field, but Taranaki's defence. And another Coach. example of why we're at this area of the field. Another good turnover at the breakdown. They've come out. They've been ferocious in the second half around that breakdown of Taranaki. Six. Hold, 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 hold. Down it goes. Reset, boys. Reset. Yeah, time's off. Time's off. While we get the set. We'll put a pressure on that Boys, far side. Okay, yeah, Jared Prophet. Replacement for Taranaki in the number 17 Increase jersey. Height, look at those turnovers conceded 14. Well, that will be something they will look at. And Taranaki tackles. Wow, 123. Yep. No, double. Wellington. They've been good ones as well. Yeah, well, it has been a feature for both teams. Let's okay, be honest, but Taranaki on. really laid their head on. That, especially in the second half, with a really just camped down Wellington and forced them to run out from their own 22 or in between the 22s. Connor Collins wanted to feed it, but they get a penalty. Better result for Wellington. Just sweep on down. Three to go. What a game it's been at Inglewood. All of that time off for both of these teams. And to come here to Inglewood, one of a good crowd, putting on a real show in the Bunnings MPC. Couldn't ask for much more. I think in these moments, Peter Umanga Jensen is one of the best line runners you'll see. So they've got to give it to him, the man in Jersey 22, if they're going to break this staunch defence of Taranaki. This is going to be their opportunity. Less than two minutes left by the time this ball is in, but the line-out has to be efficient for Wellington. There it goes. Oh, the ball is loose. And it is on the side of Wellington. Coming up smartly was Profit on Collins. So Duplessis Kadifi will play halfback for Sakadia. Two minutes to go at Inglewood. As Wellington has search for another one. Pleading with Dolman, uh, Taranaki, uh, Collins, he's well taken care of. Jury makes the tackle. Now uh, Hoyson is just monstered by Tikoi Solomone for Taranaki, and they win another penalty. How good have they been at the breakdown? Oh, the numbers there too was the secret, but geez, Wellington would just upset their whole period of play. The line out didn't go well. Everything was behind. There was drop passes. There was pressure of Connor Collins. And it's all due to the fact of the staunch defence of Taranaki. So Wellington off their feet on that occasion. Look at this offensive tackle one. On the hands to go through, punch through. Outstanding BC. go now, line out time, you can see the captain just getting them to calm down, they've played the second half very well, Taranaki, all built on defence, 
Patelli. In it goes, they send up Scott Jerry. Sack's good, use it! Kick. Play it away, sack is good! Here under the feet of Riccatelli. He looks down the short side. Stay up, Dom, stay up! No, a pod one off. It's been some performance by Taranaki as they look to shut this one down at Inglewood. There goes the hoot up. And to touch it goes Liam Blyde. Excellent performance from Taranaki. Built on the back of a great defensive display. And they have beaten Wellington at Inglewood 52 points to 26.